Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 of the best makeup products that you can buy at Sephora that are under $30. About a month ago I did a very similar video except with a $25 and under price point. So I guess this is kind of turning into a series. I think there's this misperception that all YouTubers make a ton of money and are sent all the PR for all the products, but that's just not true. I do get PR, but I don't get PR for everything. And I have a household to support. I also have a budget and a set amount that I wanna spend. So if I can get products for a decent amount, I want to do that and I want to help you get the best value for your money as well. You might be having a bad day or know somebody else is having a bad day and you might just want a little pick me up. You might want just a small gift type of product for someone or a stocking stuffer because the holidays are coming upon us. You get a lot of value for your money here and I do know $30 is not a small amount of money for everyone but you know it's not $50 it's not $100. Now a month ago when I did that first video I came with tons of products to do subsequent videos if you guys want so let me know down below if you'd like me to continue to do these types of videos and that video was not sponsored by Sephora this one is it does not change my opinion of these products or of Sephora we all shop at Sephora and I will continue to do so I'm just excited to be partnering with them again for I think the 10th time now and I came up with this concept clearly the first time and again now and came up with all of these products on my own. So let's go ahead and get started. I even have a foundation in here that was under $30, believe it or not, as well as just various types of products. Before I fully get started, if you are not subscribed to this channel and you want to see videos that just help make your everyday life easier, very realistic types of beauty videos, hit that subscribe button, become part of the family, hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload. And I also have started a new service where if you want one-on-one -on -one consulting help from me, maybe you want me to take a look at you to see if something actually works for you, I can give you a video response back. So I will have that link down below. It's something new. I offer it for the beauty side of things as well as my social media consulting side of things. If you're starting a YouTube channel or growing a YouTube channel, so I have the link down below. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that foundation that I discovered that I actually love and I discovered this foundation through you guys because I had never tried it before and I don't know why. It's the Clinique Even Better Makeup Foundation Makeup. It says makeup on here. It says it evens and corrects right on the foundation. I'm also going to put in clips of me applying some of these products too, including the foundation and the concealer I'm gonna be talking about. So it says that it's dermatologist developed to help perfect the appearance of skin with everywhere. It gives medium coverage, which I would totally agree with. I really feel like this looks great I think it's a great color match for me. The shade that I am in is WN38 Stone. It says it's for combination oily, normal, and dry skin. It does have SPF 15 in it, but I always tell you guys never, ever, ever rely on foundation to give you your SPF protection because it's just not enough. You would have to apply so much foundation to get the amount of SPF that you would need. So always use sunscreen before you use your foundation. It says it's a moderate coverage hydrating foundation that supports the look of more even skin tone and the stay true pigments won't change color on your skin and it gives you flawless undetectable coverage. I really feel like it does and I'm kind of sad that I didn't try this earlier because if I did it would be in some of my top foundations videos because I feel like this gives really natural looking coverage that kind of looks like skin, kind of a step above skin. And it's not overly matte, but it's not dewy. It's just that natural good skin finish. It minimizes my pores. It lasts throughout the day. I do have to touch up with it maybe every three and a half to four hours. I have combination oily skin. I am 44 and I live in a hot and humid climate. So touching up for me, blotting throughout the day is not abnormal. But that amount is fine for me, but I don't feel like it makes me look greasy when I do have to touch up. It's just kind of like a normal amount of oil. It just looks really, really pretty on the skin. You know, I have these lovely little expression lines across my forehead that I probably <laughs> need to do something about and it just doesn't settle into those which I love. The price of this is $29.50 which is super refreshing in the world of very pricey foundations and look I love me some pricey bougie high-end foundations but it's nice 
to have one from Sephora that is just not. I do love the travel friendly lightweight container. It's just in a little squeezy bottle, kind of uh, reminiscent of the Dior Backstage Foundation, which I do adore, but it does not fit in this price category. So this is nice. I love it. I highly recommend it under $30. This next product could actually fall in the under $25 video category, but I'm putting a different product in that video for next month. I am planning on doing this video next month. If you want me to leave me your comments down below, just a little reminder. I just didn't want to have two products that were in the same exact category in the same video. So I wanted to talk about this one this month because I've really been loving this so much. I have very few lip balms that I alternate anymore. I'm super picky about my lip balms and this is one that stays in my lip balm stash, my lip balm arsenal, because it's one of the very few that keeps my lips from getting dry, parched, dehydrated, flaky, whatever term you want to call it. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It also comes with this cute little applicator that is actually contoured perfectly for your lips. It covers the main lip area nicely and it just gets into the cupid's bow area perfectly. It says it's a leave-on lip mask that soothes and moisturizes for smoother, more supple lips overnight and it's supposed to be great for fine lines and dryness. It's got vitamin C, antioxidants, and a berry mix complex and that's what gives it the soft kind of berry fragrance. It's also got moisture wrap technology that boosts hyaluronic acid and minerals to form a protective film over the lips to lock in moisture and active ingredients. And I do feel like that when I apply this overnight that my lips do feel softer and more plump and hydrated the next morning. This is really great to use in the winter, I feel like. So I alternate this with other lip balms that I use and love and that I talk about frequently on my channel, like the Drunk Elephant. I love that one. This has just made the cut to stay in my lip balm rotation for good reason. And I have applied a thin layer during the day underneath my other lip products and it wears well underneath too. I just love this. And that is only $20 by the way. So, I mean, I say only $20 and some of you are going to be like $20 for a lip balm, but it's a really, really nourishing lip balm that I love. And it does make a really great stocking stuffer too. One of my Holy Grail concealers. And if you follow my channel, you know how picky I am about my under eye area and about concealers. One of my favorites is under $30. It is $29, I believe. Yes, $29. It is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It is what I have underneath my eyes today over my corrector because I usually wear a corrector underneath my eyes. And I'll link everything that I have on today down below, even if it's not included in this video, because I know you guys are gonna wanna know. You get a ton of product for the $29. And there are some other concealers that I use and adore that give you much less product that costs more than $29. So I feel like this is a great buy for the money. It does give really great coverage. You know, I have oily combination skin, like I said earlier, but my under eye area is textured and I have fine lines and that area is dry. It blends out well. It looks natural. It gives wonderful coverage that can be used both on the face as well as under the eye and it's easy to work with and it, it looks great all day long. This was kind of my Tarte Shape Tape replacement and it's not going anywhere. I, I need to get a replacement actually. I can see it's like down to there. It might even be lower than that. And I do like that it has a big doe foot, but you need such a small amount when you apply it on your face that, you know, it could have a smaller doe foot and be fine. Cause I really just dot this on when I apply it. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna go on and talk about eyes now because I have a combination of things on my eyes. I have an eyeshadow palette that is under $30 and I also combined it with kind of a one and done product that I use a lot for one and done looks. I just wanted to show you the application of both. I'm gonna talk about the one and done product first because I am a sucker for a one and done easy product that will allow me to just slap it on my lid and blend it out and be done. Sometimes I'll throw a bronzer in the crease, but I have various products in various forms that allow me to do that, whether they are pencils or liquids with wand applicators or in pot form. So today I just did that with the eyeshadow already on because I wanted to demonstrate to you how easy that was. So I have five 
nude sticks products here that I use a ton. These are the ones I use the most that didn't come in a kit. These are $26 and I have a couple of lip products and the two eye products that I use the most that don't come in a kit. You do get a great value when you buy their kits, but these are the singles because they cost $26. I wanted to share them with you and you do get your value out of that $26. You can wear these with other products you can wear them on their own and these are multi-use the lip products so the two shades that i wear the most are twilight and nudity nudity is the one that i have on my eyes today they do have matte shades as well and i just feel like these look so beautiful now twilight is going to give you a smokier type of look that you can amp up and you know wear it a little dressier or you can wear it for every day i'm sorry one of these was an eye shade it's a matte eye shade in the shade Terra. i was looking at the back of it and thought it was a lip shade <sighs> it's been a long day and this is actually a shade that i will buff out in the crease if i don't want to use bronzer in that area but these stay budge free all day by the way they don't crease they don't budge even in sweaty sweaty environments so the two lip shades that i have i have the intense matte lip cheek and pencil in kiss and i have the gel color lip and cheek balm in haven so this is going to be more of a velvety matte shade and this is going to be more of like a glossy balm and i like them both and they both wear very well both on the cheeks and the lips I just think even if you get one, you just get a great value for your money. Okay, so the shadow palette that I have on my eyes today is the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Rose Eyeshadow Palette, which I have said many times is not very rosy. This is more of a neutral, leaning, cool palette, but that's what I have on my eyes today underneath the nudity shade and the, I feel like the nudity shade kind of looks a little cooler than normal just because of how this palette is but I basically started with this shade in the crease and transition and then I have the shade next to it to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner and then I have these two shades kind of you know smoking it out a little bit and I did line with this dark shade right here so I just didn't use the shimmers here instead I opted for the nude sticks this is a great palette. The quality is great. There was no fallout when I was done. I feel like people talked about these when they first came out and then they kind of stopped. And the value that you get for the, what is the price of these? $29 and the size, you get a big mirror as well. I also have the neutral palette, which is a little bit warmer, but it's still very neutral. I think these are fantastic. They would make great Christmas gifts for someone who just really likes an easy kind of all-in-one neutral type of look, whether they wanted a cool look or a more neutral warm look. And there's another one too I don't have here with me, but it's nice as well. Since we're talking about eyes, let's go ahead and talk about the mascara that I have on right now that I have not talked about in a while because I've been talking about other mascaras, but it is one of my holy grail mascaras that I feel like people talked about for a long time when it first came out and you know other mascaras come out and you kind of forget about it or you forget to mention it again but i feel like it's a mascara that most people really really do like now i do have to get another full size this little travel size is what is living in my travel bag right now this is the hourglass caution mascara and i feel like if you're like me and you have sparse lashes that need more volume this is such a great mascara for you that's what the wand looks like it's just one of the most perfect mascaras I've tried. It does give me volume. It does give me length. It doesn't flake. It doesn't smudge. I don't know what it is with me, but mascaras always want to smudge on my brow bone. And this doesn't do that. And it doesn't flake either. I think I got this as a reward or a perk from being a Beauty Insider member. So if you're not aware, you can sign up for free to be a Beauty Insider with Sephora and you get all kinds of perks. You get a birthday gift, you can get rewards, and you get points every time you shop. If you spend a certain amount of money a year, you will reach rouge level to where one of your choices is that if you get enough points, you can redeem those points for a $100 Rouge reward. They only release on certain days of the week. I'll put that in the description box because I know a lot of you asked me about that in the comments the last time I mentioned it, but there's just a lot of perks to joining up and it's free. I'll also have a link in the description box to that, but that's where I think I got this. I redeemed this or else it was part of the yearly birthday gift. I can't remember, but 
I don't know, I got this somehow. I definitely, definitely need to repurchase the full size. I'll have a picture of it here somewhere. Let's talk about the blush that I have on today. I have on the Bounce and Blur blush from Bare Minerals. I'll talk about the shade in a minute. I adore these for several reasons. They are supposed to be applied with your fingers. You can bounce them on, hence the name, with your fingers or with a beauty blender or something like that. But they're not like your typical cream blush in that you need to apply them before you put on your powder. You can apply them over powder, which is what I did today, and they don't disturb the makeup underneath and they don't have a tacky texture or any kind of a texture really. It just feels like your skin. They blend out super, super easily. You can't detect where you put them on. And I don't know, I just, I love them. They give such a beautiful glow. The finish is gorgeous. I mean, look at that, look at that glow. It just looks so, so pretty on the skin. And I feel like you can't really over apply them. They look really bright here in the compact, but they're not bright on the skin. You can apply these with a brush, I guess. I just think it's not necessary. It's actually easier to apply it with your fingers super, super easy. So the shade that I have on is this one, Pink Sky. My next favorite shade is Coral Cloud, which is just this really pretty coral. And then they have two other shades, Mauve Sunrise and Blurred Buff. And all of them show up and all of them look beautiful. I love this line and they're $29. Again, another great stocking stuffer, a great gift for yourself. Super great to travel with if you wanna bring one less makeup brush. The powder that I have on today is one that you love. I hear about this powder probably more than any other powder in my comments section. This is the It Bye Bye Pores powder and it is $29. When I was looking at these products, there were not many powders, not many foundations, not many concealers for under $30. This one fell under that mark. And you can tell, I mean, I've used this. I know I don't talk about it a lot. The reason why I don't talk about it a lot is because there is some flashback with this powder. And for me, with what I do, that is relevant, but I do really like the way it looks on my skin. I think it's just a really beautiful powder at blurring the pores, setting the face, keeping your skin looking matte for a long time, but not flat. It is what I have under my eyes and what I set my face with today. And sometimes I forget how much I really like this powder. I typically use loose powders to set my face, but every now and then I'll pull this back out and I'll remember how much I adore this powder. Just be careful with it that you don't wear it on a day when you know you're gonna be getting your photo taken. But for every day, work situations, running around, normal activities. This is a great one and it is portable if you want a powder to travel with. It also is a great touch up powder, blotting powder for during the day. So yeah, it's great. This is another makeup product that I feel like tons of people raved about when it first came out. Then new products came out and we didn't hear about it anymore. And I wish we did because it is really great. I only got this in one shade and I really, would like more shades of this. This is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip in Juicy Date. It's what I have on my lips today. It's so pretty and so creamy and it lasts a long time. And it's such a, I guess, misnomer with, you know, the name liquid lip. You typically think of drying lip products, but this is kind of a cross between a balm, a gloss, and a liquid lipstick because it's nourishing. I think there are good for you lip ingredients in here. Let me check. It actually says it's a lip color with the look of a liquid lipstick, the comfortable feel of a balm, and the plumped up sheen of a gloss. Okay, it actually has a super fruit blend, cranberry, blueberry, and raspberry extracts, and it offers nourishing comfort and moisture both immediately and over time. I like the shape of the applicator too. It's the perfect size. It's kind of small, but it's got just enough of a curve to it. So it just conforms to your lips nicely and just applies perfectly. It feels cushy. Like I've had this on a couple of hours now and I've been talking, I've been drinking and it's still on my lips. It looks really pretty. It feels good. And I don't have to worry about it just completely sliding off. And I just feel like this is a truly great buy for $29. This would be a great 
treat yourself gift. I mentioned earlier that I had three Bare Minerals products in this video and I also said that I had on a highlighter. Maybe I said that, I'm not sure if I cut that part out because I think I had to film that segment like three times. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you know that or not, but I do have a little bit of highlighter going on. I'm not sure if you can tell with the lighting situation that I have today. So the highlighter that I do have on today is the Bare Minerals Endless Glow Highlighter and I have on the shade Free. And this is just a champagne highlighter. I'm trying to catch it in the light a little bit so you can actually see it. I really love a champagne shade of highlighter. I just think it's so pretty and so flattering. There are two other shades on Sephora and these highlighters are $29. This is a mineral based highlighter and it does say that it gives a natural luminous dew kiss glow while blurring the look of pores and imperfections. And that is what I find about this highlighter. Sometimes if you're over a certain age, there can be some texture going on in this area. Let it be known, I do not use any kind of filters or anything like that, and I don't even film with my ring light on most days. I haven't filmed with my ring light on in months because I just wanted you guys to see things with natural light. If I can do that, I try to do that. And sometimes when I apply highlighter, you can just see more texture in the skin than others. This is really, really pretty for this area. I do find that it doesn't emphasize anything bad and it does give that glow. It looks smooth and it doesn't look chunky or glittery. It's just a very smooth looking highlighter. So I've really been enjoying that a lot. It's $29 and it's just really pretty and it lasts all day. So I've been loving that. That would be something really fun for the holiday season that's coming up. So I wanted to include that in this particular video. Leave me your comments below if you know of any products that are a little bit less expensive from Sephora that you enjoy because I may be able to include it in future videos that would be helpful for you guys. It helps me help you and that's what I always try to do is bring you guys value. And I always love seeing your comments down below. If you're not subscribed, to this channel, hit that subscribe button, become part of the family. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.